Hi, how are you? I'm Anthony from Cypher House Escape, and I'm back with some more Huntinality. We're at the round two meta puzzle. We have our eight characters recruited, and we're ready to, um, I don't know, I guess, I guess launch our new version of Smash Bros, which is called Big Bash Siblings, I think? One or two other quick things we should know. In addition to each of these puzzles uh, resolving to an answer, there's a story that goes along with each of these characters joining the game. And I pointed out in previous streams as we read through that story that I'm pretty sure there's something funny going on in uh, each of those stories. All right, so with that out of the way, let's go on to the meta puzzle. Meta, oh bro, where art thou? This was it. Each character in the current roster submitted an initial move list to Waluigi, who was in the process of reviewing them. Bro, I found this storybook hiding in plain sight in our living room, bro. I'd never bothered to read it before because reading's for nerds, but it turns out this story occasionally gets kinda weird. Figured it'd be good to give it a look, bro. Anyway, hope your game is going well. See you later, Wario. Well, time to make sense of all these move lists. He braced himself, as it seems there were multiple methods to extract information out of this nonsense. Three, to be precise. What a mess. What should I consult in times like these? This uh, might be three meta puzzles in one. It sounds like there's we're supposed to extract three things from uh, all the information that we're going to have. And it seems like we're going to have a lot of information in addition to the puzzle answers and the stuff from the story and all this flavor text. We're going to have um, all of this down here as well. So let's just take a look at what we have at the bottom of the page and then I'll start combining all this information into a sheet somehow, I think. Um, so these are going to be our characters. I see we have Apple Kid and the various B moves. Um, so there's B with right and left, there's B up, and there's B down moves. And I'm guessing we have these for each of our new characters. It looks like we do. Um, it looks like we have more move combinations here. Here we have a bunch of stuff that Wario says and does. And then down here we have... Still more moves from, from, I'm guessing, characters. Do each of these have a set color up here somewhere? But then we have our round two answers here as well. I'm going to add one row above there. Um, so I, th these are almost definitely going to play a role. So um, there's going to be something that Waluigi does in each story, and there's going to be some things that um, Wario does in each of the stories for these characters, and I'll show you what I mean for that. So like, here's Weezing's story, and I'm not going to read through the entire thing again, I did that on a previous stream. Um, we're just going to find the part where each of our characters does something weird. Wario emerged from his living quarters and popped into the kitchen. Okay. For some reason, as he entered the kitchen, he pretended that he was riding some kind of vehicle, pulled by an imaginary chain chomp he was barking order, that he was barking orders to. He tugged on his imaginary chain chomp four times before hopping off his invisible ride. Waluigi always seemed to be picturing some sort of, like, uh, I think it was like TV shows or, or movies or something. Waluigi reset himself mentally. He tried to think of happy thoughts. He thought about the night he went to the opera and a day he spent at the races. He thought about that one joke about how someone shot an elephant in their pajamas. Maybe he needed to eat some animal crackers. Elephant in pajamas is Groucho Marx. Okay, interesting. So Waluigi, at least in this story, is referencing Marx Brothers things. He could make out John Turturro on screen and wasn't sure if he was playing a Cuban-American bowler, an ill-fated bookie, or a playwright-turned-screenwriter who could meet a woman from a photograph. So these are all roles for somebody, I guess. Earlier, Wario was insisting that he had gone to some kind of specialized school to become the man he was. He also mentioned meeting a colleague who had a son named Hamajama. Okay, so I thought, I thought Wario had always done uh, some kind of move when he came in here. He does have a number in each one, so he gave out three imaginary cards. He pretends to shoot exactly one red orb of energy. Okay, and then Waluigi. Well, speaking of clowns, he thought back to a time when he considered studying to be a clown in Venice, Florida. And that time, he saw a group of remarkably trained pigs and a 
devastating July 1944 fire in Hartford, Connecticut. Um, the Big Lebowski are the Cohen brothers. Okay. So these are all, I think these are all referencing brothers of some kind, like Hammer Bro, Marx, Marx Brothers, um, Cohan Bros, according to Cult of Neurisis. I, I think that's probably what Waluigi's things are referencing. In a pseudo-athletic fashion, Wario hopped around and mimicked, throwing around six blue orbs of energy. Okay, so Waluigi was thinking about what he wanted to watch later. Adult Swim was coming on soon. The fire in Connecticut happened at a Ringling Brothers circus. Yeah, thank you to chat for, for helping me, because I probably wouldn't immediately get any of these Waluigi references. Wario began to mimic the act of throwing something. After releasing it from his hand, he paused his movement as if waiting for something to return. He then pretended that he caught whatever this object was again. He put on this display exactly one time. So that sounds like a boomerang, which I think Link throws a boomerang, if I'm not mistaken. Waluigi imagined that he was in some kind of fantasy world. A world where a donkey, hound, cat, and rooster could play musical instruments. Or one where girls could have extremely long hair that people can use to scale towers. Or one where witches could abandon children in a forest and live in gingerbread houses. But this was not one of those worlds. So those are all fairy tales. Um, Brothers Grimm, right? Those are all Brothers Grimm stories. There's a clear column C, column E dependency. Oh, Brothers Grimm, Gim. And then we had, what was this? This was Marx Brothers and we have Mar. That is a good catch. Good call there, Daggum. Nice find. His mind drifted off towards those old kung fu movies he used to watch. He would fantasize about being one of those dazzling fighters. Wario entered through the door and puffed his chest as if to simulate that he was larger than normal. He then pretended to lug around a heavy weapon and began swinging it down with great force. Eight times. Shaw bros, says Daggum. Let me grab uh, Wario's thing and then we're done with the stories. I, I think we're done with the stories. There might be more in here somewhere. This was all I immediately noticed. Okay, uh, so let's grab the brothers uh, because we were finding a lot of brothers in here for um, Waluigi's set. All right, so we said this first one was Marx Bros. Shaw Brothers is here. Marx Ringling Venture. Venture. We've, we have our puzzles, we have the puzzles, answers, and the characters. Each character's story has a Waluigi thing and a Wario thing. Uh, Waluigi seems to always be referencing a pair of brothers or, or something with brothers in the name. Notice that these brothers seem to match up at least a little bit with these uh, answers. So it, in, in particular, each one seems to be just missing a letter. So Marx Brothers is missing the X. Cohen Brothers is missing the E. I mean, there is an E here, but it, it doesn't fall in order. So I assume that's what we need. Um, Ringling is missing the L. Venture has the V. Grim is missing the R. Oh, uh, huh? Hmm. Um, Everly is missing the L. Shaw, we don't have the S. And Lemon is missing the H. Okay, well, at first, I thought that this was going to be Roman numerals, because I was seeing a lot of XLV things, but they're not all Roman numerals, so I'm not immediately sure what these letters are going to be. Fire plus alarm, says Daggum, both in row four. Ice and cream in row five. Where are you getting these, Daggum? Because I'm not seeing them. <laughs> oh, here's cream. So where did you see ice? Uh, I had said these might be the Ice Brothers. So then there's fire, and where was alarm? Um, oh, here, in the in the answer. This one's boomerang, so what do we have over here? Boomerang kid? Is boomerang kid a thing? No, a boomerang kid's a thing. It's a young adult who goes back to live with their parents after a period of independence. Okay, so I guess that's what we're doing with these. And then maybe we're indexing with these numbers, or I don't know, maybe we're just kind of hanging out with all this information we're gathering. So, uh, red orb is fire, so we have fire alarm we had boomerang kid we had ice cream oh this is yo yo mama is it maybe it's just yo yo ma i mean yo yo ma's the the person but we have mama over here 
Drag Race for the first one, says Mudkip Yoshi. I like that. All right, maybe it's time that we finally um, actually got some information from the meta puzzle page. <laughs> Showman's Strike, Signal to Run, Broadband Interface. We have Showman's Strike and Brooding Sigh. Um, I, I was starting to feel like there might be some connection between some of these and some of those like pieces that we were taking out before for Hilda, I think. Heavy Whacker almost sounds like a hammer. See ya, see ya, baby made me think of Yo-Yo Ma because I don't know, just the yas next to each other. All the downs are bro. All the down moves are bro. Oh, you're right. Okay, so maybe these three different moves are hinting at the three different ways of extracting. Yeah, I have a different idea. Let me bring down the brothers that we had up here. I was hoping, because I knew this first one was Marks, I was hoping that the second word would always match the length of the brother that we found, and then, you know, this told us which letter was missing, so we would take, like, an H here. But Cohen doesn't match niceties. Okay, so the down moves are referencing our bros. The right-left moves are referencing these things we got from Wario. So like we had Drag Race. Do we have something that seems to be like the opposite of Drag Race? Laughter Bomb goes to Marx Brothers' fabled fist is grim. Okay, I guess I guess what you're what you're getting at is the Brothers Grimm wrote fairy tales, right? And Fable is here. Um, I guess I don't know any of these other brothers well enough to know <laughs> if that pattern continues, but I guess that's why you're pointing it out is is that these uh, seem to be referencing them. Ringling Brothers were showmen. Okay, that one makes sense. Bye Bye Love is the first hit song from the Everly Brothers. Okay, so See Ya See Ya Baby is a reference to Bye Bye Love. Ancestral Insult equals Yo-Yo Ma. So do these other do these other ones match up for that? Like Boomerang Kid, uh, Prodigal Son? That could work. Sugary Delight is ice cream. Okay, yeah, these these work as well. So let's bring these over. Drag race is an old sport. That sounds right. Working time is boxing day. Fire alarm is a signal to run. Sugary delight is ice cream. And so I guess we really need to figure out how all of these are coming together in some way. Mostly because I, we aren't extracting anything yet, as far as I know, unless maybe we index. We can try indexing. Let's just give it a quick go. We have G. A F GIF BMA. I don't think that's anything. Just to take stock again. This is a meta puzzle. We have a bunch of previous characters and puzzles, and these are their answers. Each character has three moves that the meta puzzle gives us. Each story gave us a description of a certain brother, and the down moves all start with bro. So that those two feel connected. The, the compound words were also found from the story, and they seem to be described by... Oh no, the, the brothers are also described by the right-left moves, and the compound words are described by the up moves. So what does that mean for us? It feels weird that we have two for the brothers, I guess. I, I'm not really sure why that would be the case. It, it feels like we're maybe putting a letter in for, like, each of these? Like, maybe for... I don't know if it's the description of the brothers or for the actual section that says bros, but we might be putting in these missing letters into, like, just, like, those spaces, and then we're maybe using these indexed letters to put into these spaces, and then you need another set of letters here to then, it, like, we can read across or something. Okay, right, left. These look like they might be hints. So these are right-left moves. Brothers, 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 brothers. So this seems to be hinting that the right-left moves are all descriptions of the brothers, right? Then we have the up moves. I don't know how this is hinting our compound words. We have a hammer bro looking at a bunch of other enemies in here for our up moves. Our up moves were just descriptions of these. So how, how does this hint that? I was thinking Ice Bro, Fire Bro, Business Bro. Hammer Bro variants, is that a thing? Okay, so let me look up these um, bros, I guess. 
Okay, so I'm seeing Boomerang Bro, Fire Bro, Sledge Bro, Sumo Bro. We didn't have Sumo Bro. As Dadgum says, these, these ending words haven't really been used yet, so that feels like it should be important. You can get index answers by anagramming their first letters. Oh, of these? I was just looking at them thinking, what has an X in it? So what is that order? Is that is that putting them in alphabetical order? Why would we do that? Okay, let me let me sort them in alphabetical order here. So this gives yeah index A N S. By the way, the movies at the bottom all have colors related to characters. The moves at the bottom all have colors related to characters. Are these related to our characters or to characters from the actual game? The pink is Hilda and the red is Apple Kid. Okay, I can I can see how each character would have a color. Like, Weezing would be purple, uh, Apple Kid's red. So each of these moves has a letter. I wonder if we're, are we shifting that letter somehow? Because it feels like we're supposed to get another letter to put down here. So I'm wondering what the point of having these letters up here is. Might help. So like, Apple Kid we think is red. That would give us A-A-A. <laughs> oh, I see. The, the letter inside is just to help us with the color. Okay, yeah, the, the letter inside is just the first letter of their names. A for Apple Kid, B for Beetle, C for Chef Kawasaki. So the colors aren't necessary, really. It's just an additional confirmation, I guess, of matching those up. Um, but we still need to know, yeah, we still need to get a letter, basically, for each type of move, it looks like, and then we gotta put them on these lines down here. And I'm guessing these are telling us how to I'm thinking these are trying to tell us how to get a letter for each move. So yeah, we might have some of our letters here. Um, and I might be able to start filling in this thing at the bottom. But then we're never going to know if we're indexing into the right thing long until we basically get the final answer. And I still don't know where our third set of letters is coming from. Like, this seems like a set of letters. This seems like we index to get a set of letters. Where's the third set of letters? We haven't really used the... The bros? It, unless it's just this, unless it's just index answers. And you index into the compound word by the number for the up. Is that what makes the most sense? I think that's what makes the most sense. So this gives us F, S. Okay, I should pro probably put these directions in here as well. Okay, so those are all of the um, colors and the directions, and we can maybe start putting in some of our letters, I guess, if, if we've indexed correctly here. A's Apple Kid, we think this is the uh, right-left move. We think this is the up move. So for um, A, or red, for the red color, we have L and F. Red RL is L. Red up is F. Okay. Okay. Next up is brown. So brown, we have E and S. E and S. We have Hilda, which is pink. So pink right left, we have S. And pink up, we have A. So we have all. So this is looking promising. Let's go to the next character. Lastly, we have Weezer, which is purple. So for purple right left, we have an X. And for purple up, we have an R. All right, what is this spelling so far? All something. What, uh, what question are we looking to answer again? <laughs> what, uh, what should I consult in times like these to fix this mess? Oh, there were also parentheses. Hold on. So I'm thinking this is 5, 6. And maybe this is going to be a crossword clue of some kind. All men are brothers. Is that... All men are brothers. 5, 6. Interesting. So do we, do we know how we get these down letters? Or did you guys just Wheel of Fortune that? Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So chat Wheel of Fortune this and got... All men are brothers... And I will have fortune this bottom part to get five, six. Let me search this phrase. All men are brothers. Is a television series. It's based on a, a novel called Water Margin. Water Margin. It's considered one of the four great classic novels of Chinese literature. <laughs> Water Margin. 
Water margin is correct for the round two meta puzzle. I have questions. <laughs> what were those other, what were the other indexes? Um, by the way, the down clues are hinting at the many times Wario says bro, and the one time in each story that Waluigi says brother. I'm guessing what Dragon's hinting at with the bros is maybe there's, maybe the number of bros in every uh, story is equal to the length of this answer, minus one, and then the place where Waluigi says brother is the letter that we take. Is that what it means when it says index answers? Is it saying to use the bros and the brother for for that? Is the second meta the end of the whole hunter? There's a third section, Cult of Neurysis. Have a great day, and as always, happy escaping. <laughs> <laughs>